While the tears are hot and the hair is wacky, I want to talk about how much I love Tori Amos. I think that I underest. I love Tori Amos. Let's just, you know. But I think I forget how much I love Tori Amos. Whenever I need to listen, if I had to choose one artist to listen to music for the rest of my life, one artist in musical genre, don't get offended, Madonna. <laughs> I'm talking about particular music, like my favorite artist musically. <laughs> Tori Amos. I could listen to Tori Amos forever. I adore Tori Amos. Uh, her ability to be able to place lyrics and music and channel a specific bizarre frequency that no one really is accessing and telling a story and bringing these characters to life her children the music aspects i mean she's just like you can feel that they're alive you can feel that not she's not just the only one singing but the song itself is wanting to be heard that's why i feel i hope that tori would be honored or, or, or at least if I could cover some of her songs in my genre, in my experience, she has, I mean, she's just Tori. Tori has allowed us to communicate our thoughts and ideas and emotions in such a way that has saved countless of lives. I think as an artist, Tori just, you can tell by her fans, you can tell by how many people love Tori Amos and why they love Tori Amos and her relationship with her fans and that element and the respect that her fans... Uh, Tori Amos really has one of the f strongest fan base that really respect her space and, and who she is as a human being and, and, and her artwork and everything. And she retaliates in kind, you know, with her relationship with her fans. <sighs> I I'm striking why the iron is hot because... I was just listening to Siren, B-Sides, and of course the prolific element of Tori Amos, just you being able to like live your entire life listening to not just Tori Amos, but fans making different versions and covers, and oh my gosh, and B-Sides, and oh, Tori, oh my gosh, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot that we love and we bask in the glory and heaven that is the Tori Amos repertoire. So, Tori, thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for, for, for your children, your children's children, your music, your, your children and musically, everything that you give to the world. The beauty, the beauty that you are as a human being and life and artist and everything is just divine. Divine. So, thank you. That's all. That's all. I just, you know what I mean? I just wanted to take a moment as I was listening to Tori and I was just kind of like, just, you know, do you know Tori Amos? Do you know who Tori Amos is? If you don't, I'm going to say, start off with Little Earthquakes, which is, of course, the debut album. Every album is an amazing story unto itself. I would go from Little Earthquakes to Boys for Pele. That's what I would do. And then, um, um, Under the Pink. Uh, that's what I personally would do, even though I, they're all personally, I think that, I think that in the frequency where we are right now, I think we need a little boys for Pele. <laughs> you know, where'd you put the keys, girl? <laughs> I want to love you, I want to say, <laughs> I love you forever, everybody, but I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful eternity. <laughs> Take care.